Chapter 3, Ghost. Interesting. Meanwhile, in Magical Zadia, where all the plants are something, they're all a thing. You're just nervous. Once they see you and little baby Zim, I'm sure they'll help us. Right. Good luck with that. But my new human friend might not be so popular. But you know who is going to be popular? Your charming new elf friend. Oh, no. <gasps> it is! It's Elf Callum! Yes, yes, I've been waiting for this. Elf Callum! Give it to her, Callum. I'm one of those forest elves with the... With the antlers. Waiting for the burns. Oi, mate. I'm an earth blood elf. All me best mates are trees. Mate is earth blood for friend. Why is he Australian? Down low. No, we're done. That's it? I had to put up a lot of crap about humans and that's the best I get? No jokes about their lack of stairs and elevators. No jokes about how they were born with every single magical advantage but can't defeat the humans. No jokes about their dumb botany like the fart flowers and the tu tulips or whatever the hell it was. Their stupid little stackable burberries. Come on, it's just so much material. Maybe he needs time. He needs time to build the material. We haven't gotten there yet, but good game, Callum. He took an L there from Rayla. Why have you summoned me? Have you had a change of heart? No, but there's something I want to tell you that might change your heart. The Dragon Prince is alive. There could be peace again. We just have to believe in it. Corvus loves him. Good guy, Corvus. So, what do you think? Before I hear this guy's answer, one thing I can see being a major problem here. Sometimes when there's conflict, the conflict is stated as being because of a certain thing, but it kind of takes on a new life over time. It is a cycle, but the origin of the cycle gets lost in the animosity that develops, and the animosity itself becomes a driving force for the conflict. So if there's enough bitterness between the two sides, or in any of these individual factions' hearts, it will persist even if the, the surface level problem is fixed. I think you're a little boy putting his hopes in fairy tales. Yeah. You don't need to throw me out. We're finished here. Throw myself out. Oh. You've made yourself a semi-powerful enemy again. Prince Kasev. May I have a word? <gasps> Ooh, yeah, people are gonna plot against them, right? It's exciting to actually see the elves, elven turf. Welcome to Luxalia, human. It's cool that Amaya's here, but one thing that's a little disappointing is that she got that sword and I got so excited. And then she lost it. To get in, I perform a special ritual that lets me see through the spell. It's like having a magic key. Just do what I do. Is this a prank? Yeah, everything's just way too complicated in Zadia. You gotta do this every time? I'll bet she has a key, she just wanted to dance with Callum. That's what this is really about. The Silver Grove. Good luck, wow. Callum. Isn't it amazing? Maybe take those off. It's not fooling anyone. I can't just tell you what's in a Moonbury surprise, Callum. I can show you where I grew up, where I went to school, and- Rayla, something's wrong. Yeah, no one's noticing him. They have no faces. Oh no. Oh no! Ko the face stealer strikes again. It's me! I'm... a ghost! Get up. You have visitors coming. You're going to need to look presentable. Hmm. Just a little hit. Just one hit of butterfly crack. This should be good. It hatched. That dragon will become the most powerful creature in the world, and you've let it fall back into Zadia's hands? But Dad Soren could have died. That doesn't matter. <gasps> Oof. Dad? That was not how you play that. I would have asked you to choose the egg over my life if it came to it. Everything I do and everything I ask of you is for the future of humanity. Is that why you told Soren to kill the princess? Ooh. Cat's out of the bag. Man, that's like Varen's biggest weakness. He's good at talking. He is convicted. He's able to like channel his actual feelings to motivate people. He always gets too emotional and blows it. Definitely not not gaining any points with Soren. Although Claudia's 
kind of looking to believe, right? It's a lot easier to convince somebody who wants to be convinced. And I think Claudia wants to be convinced. She wants to go back to the, the warmth of her old life where dark magic is the key and, like, my daddy loves me. I can see Soren, like, processing things, processing things, working things out. They made me a ghost. It's like being magically banished. Banished. It's what happened mm. to my parents when they abandoned the Dragon Guard. Wow. And now it's happened to me. Don't do anything stupid. She looks so small outside of her armor. Say something. Um, oh my. Uh, yeah, I think I understood that too, even not knowing sign language. That thing with the fist. She suggested an unusual way in which your body might accommodate your sword. <laughs> that was close. Remember Runan, the leader of the assassins? Uh, I think so. Tall, pointy, aimed a bow at me. He's a coin now. I went to live with Runan and his husband, Athari. We're going to meet Athari. He wouldn't have done the spell. He always had faith in me. So they all had to individually do the spell to banish her? That's nuts. There's been a mistake. They made me a ghost. Oh, no, no. <gasps> that is some real spite. Like, everybody in the community doing that spell specifically for Rayla. Your Radiance. We captured this human general at our border. But she refuses to cooperate with my interrogation. And we didn't try very hard. Whoa. I mean, she's got spirit. Yeah, I forgot how much Amaya hates elves. The reflection! Rayla, before you left, I told Renan that you were too good-hearted for the work of an assassin. He's gone. Because you abandoned him. That's like the worst thing you can say to Rayla, too. Because that's exactly her fear. It's two things. The first is that it's her fear of being like her parents, who she despises, who abandoned their post, according to her. And also, she has expressed this about herself, that she's worried that she can't come through when she's needed. And that's something that she's been working on. That's something she's been building confidence towards by showing up and, like, saving them in key moments. But to hear this from a mentor, that's gotta cut deep. Why did you tell Soren to kill the princes? Careful. I feel like she wants to be convinced. If you tell the truth, you will lose her. You will need her soon. Yeah, she's giving him an opening. <laughs> oh, is that what you thought, Soren? Surely you know your brother is uh, easily confused. Wait. He is sacrificing Soren for Claudia right now. Don't fall I for it, Soren. I'm not the smartest, but I know what you said. You said accidents happen all the time. I knew tragedy might have already befallen them. No. There you go. Stick up for yourself. I said do the right thing. And somehow you heard kill the princes this is disappointing son even for you <sighs> claudia oh, no. you believe me right i believe you thought you heard it but you obviously made a mistake denial soren knows though hi mage i've brought someone who wishes to speak with you yeah, Varen's a valuable asset now, especially to those who think that he's willing to wage war against the elves, and who don't know that Varen caused that attack. Ezrin's in some real danger all of a sudden. Take those off! When assassins are sent on a dangerous mission, Athari enchants one of these flowers for each of them. As long as the assassin lives and breathes, their flower floats. Don't worry. I promise I will return your heart to you. It might be a little bit more metallic than before. But you didn't run. They have it all wrong. <gasps> Can you undo this ghosting thing somehow? This may be a human, but she fought bravely. And she treated me, her enemy, with warrior's honor. Hmm. Should we not do the same? That's a good flip side of like the whole theme about um, cycles of violence. It comes up over and over again in the show. Amaya's small action, you know, having honor towards her opponent, probably saved her life, which is really cool. We'll let the light decide her fate. If you want to live, you have to look into the light. What is it exactly? A human with a pure heart. Callum, show him. Oh, uh... I'm Rayla's Earth No, Earth no, no, friend. no. How embarrassing. The egg wasn't destroyed. There could be peace. It's a miracle. I can't believe it. Spread the word. You need to know the Dragon Queen is dying. You can ride faster than you can walk. Pretty cool. Ah. Yeah, take those off. <laughs> 
I'll send a message to the Dragon Queen. If she knows her little one still lives, perhaps she'll hold on. Yeah, spread the word. I feel like that would go a long way. Like, at this point, they just have an escort. Can I ever come home again? I don't know. Come on. He's still a coin. The last time I made you one of these, it carried a message of death. But this arrow will carry a message of life. Regina Draconis! There we go. Man, the elf seems so petty. Come on. Like, she's literally saving the world here. For them all to do that spell, good riddance. If you're gonna be that petty, I don't need you in my life. <laughs> Rail is better off with Callum and Ezrin. Who would want to live in this society? They're terrible. They're overly serious. They're bitter. They're spiteful. You can't get into a door without doing a dance or leaf ride or fart flower experience or something. Biggest disappointment of this episode. Elf Callum. He left so much on the table. There's so much to say about the elves. And he's just walking around with these sticks in his head. I was waiting for the vengeance. I was waiting for the, the vengeance for all the pain Rayla inflicted on me as a human. <laughs> Making fun of me for wanting to take a shorter path. Well, at least I can talk to my community. Most exciting thing about this episode for sure. Two things actually. One is the growing danger for Ezrin. That's insane. People are looking at Ezrin and just feeling that opportunity. You know, like, oh my god, I'm so close to this. I can make this happen. He's just a little kid. And two, Viren Claudia Sorin. That's fun. Viren doing his thing, his spin thing. Claudia trying to believe the spin. And Sorin sort of in a weird place now. Because he doesn't have the strongest backbone, so to speak. It's working. You can see the gears turning in his head, right? Something's wrong. This isn't right. Will he allow himself to get pulled back in? Good chance, but I hope not, because I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the, you know, the Soren alone, Soren independence. I feel like a lot of good could come out of that, but I feel like there's going to be a couple stumbling blocks along the way for him. But anyway, that's the end of season three, episode three. See you guys next time for episode four.